In today's video, we will be diving into one of the most exciting and disruptive technologies of the next decade, quantum computing. A recent report from McKinsey shows that surging investment and faster than expected innovation could propel the quantum market to $100 billion in a decade from now. From robotics to AI and machine learning to sustainability and climate tech, quantum computing really has the power to reshape entire industries. In this video, we we will be breaking down six of the best quantum computing stocks to buy right now for 2025 and hold until 2030 where we will see significant gains. As always, we will be covering fundamentals, financials, growth paths, and how you can get early exposure before Wall Street fully catches on. Let's get into it. First on the list is IonQ. This is a stock that recently has surged in price and for good reason. I think it's one of the most prominent pure play quantum computing stocks on the market right now. So let's dig into the details. IonQ is currently focused on developing trapped ion quantum systems, which are known for long coherence times and also scalability. IonQ is offering these systems via major cloud platforms. And some of the platforms that they service are Amazon's AWS, Microsoft's Azure and also Google Cloud, giving enterprises access without needing to own their hardware. Their customers come from all kinds of industries. Some are research institutions, while others are commercial partners using quantum for logistics, for example, or chemistry simulations to even machine learning. In 2024, IonQ's total annual revenue jumped to $43 million, which is up 95% year over year. They are now also projecting total revenue in 2025 to be around 75 to $95 million, which would be another considerable jump. And here is one of the bold parts for IonQ. They are very ambitious and their CEO has mentioned that they put a long-term forecast of reaching $1 billion in revenue by 2030. And while this is very ambitious, yes, I think if they can scale with the market and upcoming demand and keep executing, it could happen. We now also see IonQ by startups, for example, recently they acquired a UK quantum startup, which is called Oxford Ionics. And these kinds of deals tell that the company is moving into a bullish direction. They have cash to spend and they are scaling with the market. And they actually have $364 million in cash on hand, which gives them the runway and room to continue scaling operations. This is and will be one of the fastest growing names in the space, in my opinion, looking at the current numbers and phenomena. Fundamentals. And if the market quadruples in size, IonQ could show compounded annual growth rates of roughly 50 to 60 percent through 2030. IBM is a well known legacy tech name, and now they are meeting quantum breakthroughs. They are showing decades of history in investment in quantum and are now pushing towards commercial deployment with serious momentum, as they are now working on building the first large scale fault tolerance quantum computer by 2029 something that could make ibm the quantum infrastructure leader the stock recently hit all-time highs largely due to investor excitement around ai and the quantum roadmap advancements and this is the actual roadmap ibm is using they mentioned that by 2029 they will deliver a starling large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computer capable of running quantum circuits comprising 100 million quantum gates on 200 logical qubits. I don't know the actual specifics of these terms, but I do know that IBM is the absolute leader in this regard. And IBM is offering cloud-based access to its quantum systems right now and is also deeply involved in partnerships with enterprises, academic researchers, and governments. Their AI and cloud segments are growing at double-digit rates year over year, and total revenue is expected to accelerate in growth towards a leading 20 to 30% compounded annual growth rate into 2030. Right now, their numbers didn't look too great year over year, but I do believe that growth will accelerate 
as the stock price is also reflecting the confidence of that happening. And financially, IBM reported $63 billion in 2024 revenue and about $6 billion in net income. And while quantum is still a small slice of that, the upside is absolutely massive, especially as enterprises begin deploying hybrid classical quantum solutions. Next up is D-Wave. D-Wave takes a unique approach to quantum as instead of a general purpose quantum computer that they are trying to build, they are focusing on quantum annealing, which is ideal for solving optimization problems in logistics, finance and scheduling, for example. And D-Wave has already deployed systems for companies working on delivery routes, warehouse optimization, and financial modeling. Their new cloud service, Leap, gives real-time quantum access and also adds new product cycles, like their Advantage 2 system, which could attract even more enterprise adoption. The stock is still speculative, but I think among early stage players, D-Wave is one of the most commercially active. In 2024, D-Wave's revenue was just about 8.8 .8 million, but in 2025, D-Wave is expecting to hit about $21 million, with analyst estimates actually averaging around $24 million. And 2026, there is an estimate out on average of $38 million, which would be a huge increase both from 2024 and 2025. With momentum building, D-Wave is now expecting 30% plus in annual growth through 2030, possibly higher if adoption ramps up faster. Next up on the list is Coherent, and Coherent is kind of similar to D-Wave where they are not focused on building quantum computers, but they're really enabling them as they supply lasers, photonics, and optics, which are then used in quantum systems, but also other things like semiconductors, life sciences, and industrial AI applications. This is giving them diversified exposure to multiple industries, including to quantum hardware players, like ones that we looked at before in this video, which are IonQ and D-Wave, as well as broader trends like AI and 5G. And Coherent isn't a new name in the space as they have been active for multiple years, but we do see the total revenue spiking in the last three to five years. So last year, the revenue for Coherent was $4.7 billion. Right now, the estimation for this year is $5.6 billion, which would be a significant jump. They are also really profitable with operating margins and gross margins sitting near 31%. And the quantum tailwind should lift Coherent to new all-time highs, in my opinion, alongside other sectors making it a lower risk way to play the quantum build out. I do expect them to hit their goal of 15 to 18% compounded annual growth rate in revenue through 2030, which is then based on the demand for quantum, semiconductors and the photonic markets, which are all bullish and rising currently. We can also see that the stock price hit a new all-time high in late 2024. And now I think the stock is starting to look bullish again and it's gearing up for a next leg up to new all-time highs. Next up is not an individual stock, but an ETF. Not everybody wants to pick individual stocks in a highly speculative sector, and I get that. So that's where the QTEM ETF comes in. This ETF gives you broad exposure to quantum computing, AI hardware, semiconductors, and cloud infrastructure. All the pieces that support the quantum ecosystem, really. Top holdings include companies like AMD, Microsoft, Alphabet, IonQ, and other research and industrial leaders, such as IBM that we looked at. And this ETF currently manages around $840 million in assets. The performance of the loss here has been nothing short of amazing with huge returns. It's a great way to bet on the team rather than on any single winner. So based on the strength of his holdings, there is an estimation currently of 20 to 25% annualized returns through 2030 for this ETF. I would say if you want to invest in this space without high volatility, 
this is a good bet. Last up is Google. Google's division is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with quantum. They're building scalable quantum systems and they are also releasing quantum chips nowadays. Their quantum AI lab has developed quantum processors and announced quantum supremacy back in 2019. While that was a little bit of early stage hype, I feel like, they've since integrated quantum with Google Cloud making it available for enterprise and research customers. They've also invested heavily in quantum software and simulations for AI optimization. Right now, Google's betting heavily on that, so I expect that to ramp up heavily in the future as well. Quantum is still a small part of their business, but with this scale and Google's ability to scale with the cash on hand, any breakout could be hugely profitable for the business overall. I think the bigger story here is the synergy between AI, cloud, quantum, and all of the other segments that Google has as the business is so large, which only a few companies can pull off at this level. It's very hard currently to estimate correctly how much revenue Google is making from quantum computing, but an estimation that runs through analysts right now is a compounded annual growth rate in Google's quantum related initiatives, which is about 25 to 30 percent through 2030. Lastly, we have Microsoft. Microsoft is currently betting big on hybrid quantum computing, which is combining classical with quantum systems through its Azure quantum platform. A quote from Microsoft themselves is that quantum computing hardware is rapidly improving enabling solutions such as the integrated hybrid tools from Azure Quantum, empowering users to take advantage of the emerging hardware features and capabilities. And as we know, Microsoft is always focused on enterprises. Through Azure, Microsoft is now providing access to multiple quantum processors, simulators, and development tools creating the backbone for enterprise quantum development, which is different from the other stocks that we looked at. Their partnerships with hardware startups give them flexibility, while they're also investing in topological qubits, which could be a game changer if successful. Earlier this year, Microsoft unveiled a new chip, which is called the Majorna One, which is the world's first quantum processor powered by topological qubits which is a major breakthrough as it's designed to scale to a million qubits on just one single chip. Similar to Google, Microsoft is not disclosing currently the revenue that it's making from quantum computing. What we do know is that Microsoft's total revenue rose significantly year over year and it's expected to do so for 2025 and beyond as well. Their net income was a staggering $88 billion in 2024 with an operating margin of roughly 45%. And estimates currently for Microsoft's compounded annual growth rate until 2030 for quantum related revenue is somewhere in the range of 30 to 35%, which would be supported by continued cloud dominance and also early adoption of hybrid quantum services, specifically among enterprises. That's it again for today's video, everybody. We looked at some stocks and an ETF to invest in the quantum computing space. We looked at some pure plays like IonQ and D-Wave, but also some more established companies like Google. I think currently the quantum ecosystem is maturing and early investors could see massive returns as the space is exploding in size the coming years and also the coming 10 years really so i would advise to pick your risk level do you like speculative stocks do you like to be diversified maybe you want to pick some highly concentrated bets or you want to position your portfolio in an etf that's also entirely fine if you found this breakdown helpful Make sure to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more deep dives like this in the future. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you guys in the next one.